Hey, Alan here for Old English Outfitters. And today we are taking a look at the Henry Big Boy Revolver. Pretty cool little piece of equipment. Now, Henry Firearms are one of our top selling brands here at Old English. And for good reason. One of the major promotional aspects of Henry is that everything on their firearms, everything, the wood, the brass, the steel, the screws, everything is sourced here in the United States of America. They do not outsource anything overseas. And that appeals to a lot of people for a lot of good reasons. The big boy revolver is no different. Everything here is sourced here. Wood stocks, blue steel gun, just a really nice, plain, simple, double action revolver. Now, Henry's made handguns before. The lever action, cut down, mare's leg type weapons, right? This is an actual handgun, actual revolver, actual pistol. Kind of a departure from some of the normal things that they've done in the past. But a really nice touch. If you look at it, and by the way, they're making two versions of this uh, as far as configuration. Both are blue steel with fixed sights, but one has a, a square butt, the other has the bird's head. Right now, we just have the bird's head. That's the one we shot today. Nice, very well done, even blue finish across all the steel parts. And this gun is all steel, excepting the lower part of the grip frame, which is brass. And of course, the walnut grips. Uh, pretty much conventional double action side, uh, swing out revolver. You got a, a cylinder latch on this side, which pushes forward, lets the cylinder come out. When the cylinder's out, you've got the normal ejector rod that you push to kick your empties out. Barrel's about four inches. Sights are fixed, sort of. What do I mean by that? Well, we've got just a standard trough on the top, okay? Not an adjustable sight, at least not yet. But the front sight is replaceable. You can take the front sight off if it's not hitting where you want it to hit, and you can replace it with a different height front sight from Henry. And uh, they explain how, which sight you need for correction up or down. We shot this at about, oh, I don't know, 25, 30 feet, I suppose, at the most. The sight seemed to be pretty well regulated for that distance. It was hitting up on top of the sight. The front sight is a narrow blade, which actually works pretty good because you can see it inside the notch. You've got nice uh, width on both sides. It doesn't fill the notch overly, but as some of you know, a smaller, narrower front sight lets you aim a little more precisely at a smaller target at range. And this does that. Somebody's going to say, well, the sights are just plain black. They're hard to see. Yeah, they are. They're plain black and they're a little hard to see. But you know what? A little sight paint up there on that front sight would fix that. They opted to stick with this, I think, because if you look at it, just, just look at it in profile. It looks like an older style double action revolver. You know, sometimes you look at something and it reminds you of something. Even though it doesn't really look like it, it reminds you of it. When I first looked at this, it kind of put me in the mind of the old Colt Police Positive uh, revolvers. It kind of had that general look, that general appearance to it. This is, I think, in keeping with Henry's pattern. You know, they make predominantly lever action, single action guns that have very traditional uh, profiles. They look like older weapons. This does too. And that's in keeping with that, that, uh, that design uh, style, which is nice. You know, it's nice. It's a good serviceable revolver. Now, this one's chambered in 357 Magnum. We didn't shoot Magnums in it. We just shot some 38 Specials in it. Smoke it. Comfortable to shoot with 38 Special. Magnums are going to be a little more brisk, especially with this. The way this is built back here, it gives you a good grip for sure. But uh, that's going to be a little more uh, aggressive recoil-wise than 38 Special. 38 specials, just regular 158 grain round nose lead stuff out of this work just fine. And again, that 158 grain bullet, standard for 38 special, has been forever, shot really well out of this gun. The cylinder will come out of this. You can take the cylinder out, which makes cleaning a little bit easier, get the components apart. But predominantly, you're going to take care of it like a regular double action revolver. So, 357 Magnum Chamber also, of course, shoots 38 special. But Henry is also mentioning that they are going to be making a different version of this in 22 long rifle and also in 22 magnum. Not convertible, at least the literature I've seen doesn't say that. There'll be 10 shot 22 long rifle, 10 shot 22 magnum. So that'll be pretty cool in this type of platform too. That, that really makes things nice. 
and you want something cheap to shoot, there you go. 1022s out of this, not bad at all. And I'm going to give Henry a really strong shout out. Really appreciate something they're doing with this revolver. Manual. Some manufacturers, who shall remain nameless for the moment, are getting away from putting manuals with their guns. They give you a QR code or they give you something. You got to go online, find stuff. Fine. Wonderful. If that's what you like to do. But you know what? There's no substitute for a manual with the gun. Something you can sit down and read, refer to, talks all about it, tells you what the, uh, what the options are, gives you safety rules, all that sort of thing. Well done, Henry. Keep that up. Put that with your stuff, which they do. Okay, so that's what we have today. The Henry Big Boy Revolver, this one in 357 Magnum slash 38 Special Caliber. Really nice product. If you like Henry's stuff, you're probably going to want one of these. Uh, the bird's heads are the first ones we've seen. We'll see the others, I'm sure, as time goes on. Please, 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 as always, check with us. Call. Go online. Check our uh, website. Find out what our current price and availability is because that's going to go up and down with supply, right? And in the current crazy environment that we live in. So there we go. The Henry Big Boy Revolver. Thank you very much for watching. We are very grateful. We appreciate everything that uh, you do in supporting of our business. And uh, please carry on and keep doing that. We're going to try to carry on and keep doing what we're doing. So thank you again. Until next time, I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters. <laughs>